Okay, it's Chinese kit time. This time it is an SMD LED dot matrix digital clock production kit. Production, ooh, blue. Uh, looks like a clock. Uh, and here's the kit, $11. It's pretty cheap, pretty cheap for a clock. Um, yeah, let's get it out onto a tray. All right, let's see here. I never get into these stupid bags. Come on. You would think it would be a simple matter. Separate two pieces of plastic and pull. Wow, a lot of stuff in this bag. All right. What do we have? Let's scoot my chair over. Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> um, we have a ton of LEDs. Oh my God. Look at these LEDs. Oh, they're 0602s, I think, too. Oh, they're teeny tiny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at the PC board. Oh no. What did I get myself into? <laughs> Let me zoom in here. Oh my goodness. Look at all those LEDs. Oh no. And it's double-sided board. Oh no. <laughs> this is going to be awful. So I think, oh my goodness. Which one do I do? Which one do I do first? I guess. I guess I do. Oh, I don't want to turn the LEDs upside down. So I guess I do this side first. And then I flip it over and do the other side. Danger, danger. It does come with a case, some Lexan. I love that. Uh, let's see here. What kind of connector do we get? So it's a USB mini, um, and some parts. What are the other parts other than LEDs? Ton of LEDs. Too many LEDs. How many LEDs are there? Oh my goodness. Uh, get a battery. And we get an IC. I love it. You like the IC packaging? Yeah, throw it in a bag. That'll be fine. Uh, and I get a bunch of these. I guess these are all the same. They're probably shift registers. That would be my guess. Let me get out the, let me get out the magnifying glass here. Uh, and the glare on the bag. Let me put it under the microscope over, over here where you can't see. They are still can't see them. There we go. Yep. 595. So I thought, thought so. 595 shift registers. I love those things. Um, so we have, wow, six of those. So six times eight. I think that's right. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, so those probably drive. There's a crystal, capacitors, battery holder. Yeah. Wow. You know, this this IC is not so bad. I don't know the pins are really bent too much except for one, maybe two. Not too bad. Well, I guess the first thing to do then is to put all the parts on this side, run it through the reflow, turn it over, put all the LEDs on. Oh my God, look at this LED. How many LEDs? Um, you know, I don't have a lot of good luck with 0603s either. I think that's what these are. Um, but we will have to do what we have to do. Stick those on and reflow them. It's a heavy board too. It's, 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 uh, 
it's not a normal thickness. I think a normal thickness is um, uh, 1.6 millimeters. This feels like a two millimeter board. That feels heavier than normal. I guess it's okay to have black solder mask since it's a clock. Wow. I can't believe all these, all these resistors. Oh my God. Okay. Let's get to work on this side. At least this side's easy. Let's put some solder paste down. All right, I think that's all for this side. Crystal. Should I put the crystal on now or later? Go put the crystal on later. Yep. Into the oven they go. That's it, that's all there is to it. Sorry for the handheld camera work here, but this is the this is the oven. You can watch the uh, temperature follow the profile. We're almost at the top. And uh, it'll hold the top for about 30 seconds. And then uh, It'll start, uh, it'll start falling. So there's a temperature profile that it ramps up and then it kind of holds kind of a pre-bake and then it ramps up to the very top, which is, at, which is where it is now. And so the solder has melted and now the fans will kick on. And it'll start going down a cooling, uh, go down the cooling side on the right hand side of the curve here. So about five, six minutes for the entire curve. So there we are going down. You might be able to hear the uh, fan starting to kick on now. Okay, let's take out the parts, see if they're baked. They're very, very hot, so. <laughs> Do not reach in with your fingers. Well, let's put them on the microscope, see if they're any good. I got one solder bridge on that one, solder bridge on that one. I was a little, put a little too much solder down. Yeah, not bad. I'll, uh, eh, it could have been better, not my best attempt. I think the, the thickness of this board, I don't think allowed it to heat up, uh, heat up as much as uh, the thinner boards. Anyway, I give that a touch up, I flip it over and to do the other side. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to get this on camera because I'm probably gonna screw it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt take out these LEDs from this, from this strip and more than likely they go on the floor, but if I do it correctly, they'll go into the yellow tray. Oh, come on, to get it started. Oh, this is like taking that uh, wrapper off of the uh, Lexan. It's almost impossible to get your tweezers in exactly the right spot. There we go. 
Okay. Now, if I hold this upside down and I pull off the... Oh, these guys are tiny. Okay, got them out. They're all in there. <laughs> now they got to go onto there. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, let's clean this board off. Some alcohol first. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna have my hand in the way, pull. I don't know what's gonna be best. I'm just going to do a row to see how it feels and make sure I've got these uh, LEDs the right way around. Let's see, they're marked on the they're marked on the bottom. Let's see if they're marked on the top. They are. There's a green stripe and the green stripe. I'm assuming is the cathode but I want to check make sure so I'm going to use my my DVM set to diode check mode and if I think it's the right way around it should light up this way yep and it's green that's supposed to be a blue one Oh well, gotta get a re I get a green one. Okay, so these are cathode to the to the right. So like that, I guess. Refocus here, that's better. Wow. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Don't want to do this. <laughs> Who bought this kit anyway? Uh, I can just tell these parts are going to tombstone and they're going to go everywhere. I got to make sure they're really pushed down onto the onto the board. They want a tombstone even before I heat them up. Hmm. Maybe better to use the hot air hot air gun on these. Them a little at a time, it's 
Pop it then down. That might not be a bad idea. I don't use my hot air gun very often. Mostly for rework for onesies. Oh my goodness, these are small. These are going to take a long time to do. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess there's digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like these are seconds. Hours, minutes, and seconds are smaller. So I think I'll do this little area over here, which is a four by four by seven area. I'll load that up and then I'll use the heat gun to use the heat gun to Pop things down. Oh, well, that's too much to go. Oh. That's not working. That's not working. So the the hot air this thing doesn't turn off. The uh, hot air just wants to blow them away because they're too small. So I think putting them in the oven is going to be the best bet. Now I have to take them off. Huh? Oh dear. Well, everything has failed, and so I've gone to manual, uh, manual backup here. So I'm loading these, uh, I'm loading these by hand, which is a real pain. I put one blob of solder on one pad, and then with tweezers I hold the part and set down or solder one side, and then once that's done, I turn it around and solder the other side. So. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. I got more to do. So it took me two days. <laughs> well, not an entire two days, but on the second day, I finally got all of the, the LEDs uh, soldered. And it does work. Um, it flickers very bad, though. I think it's flickering in the camera, but it's about the same. It's flickering in, in person, too. Um, when you put the case on it, uh, the flickering does go down. Uh, still shows on the camera there but by eye it is it is better it, it it still flickers so it's not the greatest thing but it, it does still flicker the font's kind of okay um yeah i guess we'll uh there's some uh standoffs on the uh on the two pieces so it kind of clamshells together you put one side on and then you screw the other side on and uh oh i just pushed the I push the button on the back, which kind of sets everything. 
Anyway, there you go. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, put the thing together and put it in the box and <laughs> put it in the drawer and never look at it again. That's the way it is with uh, most of these projects of mine. Uh, I build them, have fun with them, done. Put them away. I don't really need another clock. I already got a clock, so. But I wanted this one because it had so many LEDs. Oh my goodness. Um, if you remember uh, the back side, uh, I can show that. It's got uh, quite a few, uh, quite a few components on the back. So, um, would I recommend this kit? Wow, this is a tough one. Okay, so yes, but with some caveats. Um, let me get this in the vise here. It doesn't, doesn't fall over. Yeah, good enough. Um, if you've got nothing to do, it's kind of like building a model airplane or boat or something like that. It's like very, very tedious, but every single action is the same. These LEDs, one by one by one, and there's hundreds of them. Um, they give you a whole bunch of extras, so don't worry about screwing some up because they give you dozens of extra LEDs, which is nice. Um, they don't give you in, they do give you some extra. Yeah, they do give you some extra resistors. I think it uses a couple, but they do give you a couple extra resistors. Um, but lots and lots of extra LEDs, and you'll need them. I screwed up at least five of them, I think. Um, so would I recommend it? Um, probably not, unless you are a real um, masochist. Um, first of all, don't attempt it without a really good microscope. Don't attempt it without a really good soldering iron with a super fine tip. Uh, don't attempt it without some very fine gauge uh, solder. Um, I did use flux uh, in assembling the thing, so I used a liquid flux. Um, uh, I did use my oven to put the parts on the back, although, oh my gosh, once you've gone through the pain of doing this side by hand, the, 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 the ICs by hand would be a piece of cake. Um, so yeah, so I'd say do it at your own risk. It's a good price, $11. Um, if it's something that you really, really want to do surface mount parts, get your, uh, get your practice in. Definitely, definitely, definitely get your practice in.